And the story of the weekend will be, can Zate Saf and Stretch pull off what they did during their heats, during the qualifying weeks and lead up to the heats and the grand finals? And that is absolute domination when they are not being contested. The story here is going to continue. We've seen what Mitro's and Mongrel's team can do with that in EU. Maybe Booger's team can do the same, but we've been asking more of this team because they've had it uncontested more than Zayt's team has had Dooms. And a lot of people now arguing with Dooms Mythic Bomb out. Yeah, no, definitely was a little bit of a misplay there. <laughs> it's going to cost him a good team heal. All of a sudden, though, someone jumps up. The legend DN eats the big pump here. Remember, he did not have any shield, so he just granted class a free siphon. Look at the follow up here. Yeah, they're making quick work of these guys. They just do not have much. And Typhoon in them. Man, they had such a clutch, oh. clutch heats coming into this. But still, nonetheless, they have made it to the grand final stage. Although one game is out the window, it's not over just yet. Clicks, Bizzle, and Illust, who normally have uncontested Sweaty, right now with Dave, Miro, and Reverse on their heads, that were dropping at Dirty Docks. I don't think they've rotated here, Monster. Have we got a, two top, top tier teams contesting each other? Yeah, definitely. A little bit of a mix up for sure. This is a clash that we, none of us, I think, none of us definitely expected here. But now, though, it is going to come down to all grit. Who can actually pop this one off? Who can actually win this battle? Clicks playing super smart right now. Actually going for the big angle. This might set them up for success. This might give them the big advantage if he can get up and over with that sniper in hand. I mean, take a look. He's got that wide shot now. He can see into this entire battle. I do not see Miro, Ooh. though, and I think that's why they're holding on to the reboot van. I think they're trying to hold him out. Crimson Classic Eclipse are coming down, though, through Coral Castle. Clicks is out oh. in the open. He's standing still. This oh, is no. dangerous. <laughs> Take a look at this, though. This grand final, you have 26 wow. World Cup participants, 10 of which are FNCS champions, four of which are DreamHack winners in the recent wow. times. Gives you an idea of the caliber of player that we're looking at. When Ozzy said at the opening portion of the show, this is one of the most stacked games we've seen it really has turned out to be that in the na east region and i mean the player base is reflecting it and that's it a lot of players could have made it into the heats off consistency but a lot of those players that made it off consistency didn't actually make it through into this grand final so it really is the best of the best here today it's the players that have been playing every single week and we see mac would go down a team that's been very very hot or cold and i was wondering how they're going to come out today those are your last trio fncs champions but unfortunately game one here not going too much their way calcan zexo is still up for what i think though so maybe Ooh. something big happening there as that sprite dab 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 goes down here to bizzle but clicks has been knocked so they've got to capitalize on this quickly because Bizzle doesn't exactly have the loadout. Yeah, Sprite was actually with the jumping pump there to clicks on the peak, but it is enough. Bizzle does get the clutch to trade. Actually, this might play into their favor because there's another enemy right behind this wall. They needed the tags Ooh. and it's going to work out as they get a full conclusion onto this squad. Tahi there. Illus is going to hit the little bit of a dance move and you got to be happy about that. It's going to be an upgrade as well with the pump shotgun. Always be on the front foot pushing in as Knight's now trying to push forward into this box on the low ground. We've talked about it so much. We had the analyst make an entire package on how good this team is at fighting in these trench style battles. And not only that, it's a battle for the airdrop as well. There was some good loot that comes Ooh. out of that. Crims is going to get taken out. This is your Coral Castle squad, the one that ran through Typhoon and company. That's one game down for the grand finals. Xset now putting themselves another step closer to the Axe of Champions. Remember, it's not just the big money on the line. It's everything else in between. But hold up. Illis clicks in Bizzle here, putting some big pressure in. This is not looking good. Yeah, they need to be aggressive right now. I can see why they're pushing up on this because they're all alive. They've got a decent amount of firepower. We saw some decent shotguns, but they really don't have much else to their name. But 100% here, Slacksjack and Acorn trying to go up the mountain right now. 14 damage below. This is looking like some seriously crunch situation for them, right? 45 seconds on the clock and they have to make a big move. They need to identify a weak wall. They need to put that pressure down. Who's going to be the target of choice? Big knocks there onto Bully. Bully was lit up. He actually didn't have a lot of HP and they want this. Yes, they need this. They need to push in for it now. They need to finish off. And there it is. They do get the finish off their Bullies team. They had a decent performance yesterday. Didn't have the massive performance they needed in heats. And maybe things looking a little bit shaky right now. But that's it. That's good Storm Surge as well. 231 above. And just look at this zone right now. You talked about it. The ghost town in Doom's Domain. It's still looking really clear on that north side. This south side is... It's piles on. It's stacked on. Everyone is in here on top of each other. And it's going to be who has the mobility to rotate away from this safely. 
definitely now as you're seeing it's jack slacks and acorn on the outer more portion of this mikey niddle clarity g full trio still alive there zunis and pen and aspect also full trio right up above this is pressure coming in that's team no boo but they're gonna find outcast isif by himself with the instant knock and jack actually was a part of that so actually just finishing off the down body here able to pick up some loot off of this as well with the harpoon can they get some more for it it could be a big one this could really set them up for success off in the distance you can see that bucky creo kanata still alive there parked up it's season blake as a two-man team unfortunately losing their third it's just not looking too good though for clicks illis and bizzle man they're still on their run and they have exit on their heels it's not looking the best for them but that wide shot monster just I'm so excited. This is just what it's all come down to. I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. I watch a lot of Fortnite, and this is possibly the most excited I've ever been to watch a grand final. This is stacked on stacked. As you see, so many big names going in the feed. I can't even call them. Zuni is getting elimination. Smacked going down. Aspect. Cease. These are just a who's who of competitive Fortnite going toe to toe. And whoever takes out this game one is going to have such a good position as Sap. Oh, going the for shock the high wave. Ground. Such an exciting way to take it. They go off the bounce pad with the shockwave, get the massive high ground retake use those extra shockwaves to launch the team off and here it is this is exactly what shio predicted sap zate and stretch are set up on the high ground where they live where they play best and they're looking to capitalize on game one it's unfortunate that Saf doesn't get assist points for sending uh, Cease flying right there. Like, it really is unfortunate. Yeah. That was one of the one of the craziest plays you've probably seen this week. It, it, it's not going to be the last crazy one, right? This is a team that's going to play for height every single game. If the Heats wasn't already enough of an indicator that they want wins coming out of this, I mean, I don't know what to tell you because they're going to continue to bring that action. They have the confidence. They've, they've literally built the confidence to take high ground every single round after round. Zone favor is going to fall to the other side. Zayt already looking off in the distance. This is what he's a master at. This is what he oh. does, but he's going to get chipped. It's Kanata who finds the shot on the side, and now they have to play the pickup game. Yeah, I was just going to say, Bucky, Kriya, Kanata just beneath this right now. They're coming up here, so this is very, very scary right now. Stretch is going for the revive. Saf has clutched up so many of these moments. He really is the clutch factor on this team, but even he has to retreat now, play a little bit more safe, potentially give it up. I think he has his players above them. Zayn is now not looking too healthy. They had everything they needed, and it switches just like that. When you have this caliber of player, it really does turn on a diamond. Not only that, they're 34 below, and they're not on the high ground anymore. They can't beam down. They need to find their damage on this rotate and there are so many players this is very sketchy for them luckily for them he is going to get the med kit off so zates managed to stay alive here stretch is going to play for height once again here but 50 damage oh below gosh. they have to find some tags beautiful oh! tag it's payback time it's onto creo there stretch comes down with the drop kick shot he's not going to land it but onto the box he goes i don't think he wants to let them get away from this one not to mention they still need a little bit more for the tags as i say that though as things are catching up i see exit lighting up the feed as well finding themselves two or three elims in the process AV, Knight, and Shark are just lighting up the feed down there now. This is crazy. And Stretch has just such precise assault rifle aim. It is insane. He absolutely lasers that player. That's not only their surge. That secures the high ground. This team knows what they're doing. If you ever have the joy of watching them stream it, they very rarely do. Their communication is on another level. They just say what they're doing and everybody reacts. They have drilled this time and time again. They've conditioned that high ground more than any other team. Stretch goes to front side and already he's just going straight back up to high. They live nowhere but the high ground and they get nothing but wins. It is wins or nothing. They don't try to play for second. Jamper goes down the feed. So does Booger. So does Clicks. Exit is just lighting up the feed monster right now. Yeah, literally carrying themselves off of Elims alone. Let's not forget they did wipe that full trio coming into this as well. As we talk about it, just take a look here. It's time to heal back up and continue to run the high ground. It's what they do best. It's height with oh. pressure and stretch. Literally finds another two-piece elimination right there. And the refresher, my gosh, he's coming right back up to drop the goods off to the teammates. And all of a sudden now, he's got all the ammunition in the world to work with. This is the formula for success. This is the track record that the boys have literally put themselves on. This is why we call them the Godfathers of Comp. They're the high ground team. They've been drilling it since before Trio FNCS even started. In scrims, they everyone knows that if there's a team lighting up the feed, it's them on high ground. We get to see Xset on the mid ground doing what they do best. They've been lighting up the feed, but they are very weak for this. I see Edgy in there looking healthy. I see so many teams. Alige, we have our Latin American contingent down there as well. Kanata's still in this despite losing that high ground. Miro's pushing through. Every big name is in this, but it's talking Ooh, about who is strong enough to overcome this high team. You have to be looking at a full trio or somebody that's healthy, and I think it might be 
sent an edgy commandment. If anyone can do it, but Zunis right now, four eliminations, one on end pen, two on aspect, and they have the shockwaves. They're pulling them out. This might be it. This might be the moment. They're splitting up the shockwaves and they're looking up. That's where they have their eyes set on monster. This is the moment. They're going to go for it pretty soon. I have to think. Yes, they go up. Zunis builds it. He has the material for this 42 builds. They take the high ground, but we know Zayt's team will not give this up easily. They will try and take it back if they can. They're chopping them out. Can they hold it? End pen goes down to Saf. Zunis takes down Saf though. It's switching wow. back. Wow. Zunis takes down Zayt as well. Aspect is in this one and Zunis is still up and I think they've done it. I think they've dethroned the kings of high ground. Literally the clutch factor right there and all of a sudden Aspect and Zunis now control the high ground and it's their turn to put that pressure down. What a great way to retake height now. Nine Elims for them and it's time to run it back. It's going through all these old builds though, making it that much more difficult. They have to get in there. Miro finally gets taken out and he secures placements as well. As everyone's staying alive right now, they have literally worked their way to placements. They've done the most that they can. Big name still there. Commandment still alive here with Edgy. This is very, Ooh. very much possible. Shockwaves from height. They have everything in their power. It's time to come down now. They're running out of mats. It's a 2v3 right now. We've been talking about Commandment Aspect. They might be able to do this right now. Who is going to win it? Can Commandment come out on top on the low ground? There it is. Now it is. It's Centered and Commandment versus Zunis and Aspect. And Centered still had a shockwave. He takes the high ground, but he gets knocked on the fall through. I think they might be going for the heal off. I think Commandment's going to try and pull off the heal off. But no, the shockwave blasted out the 102. There's no way you can win the heal off. And what a big performance. A 12 elimination victory royale. A second place finish. That is how these two titans in the first and second spot are holding strong. Still, Aspect Zunis and Endpen had the same amount of Elims. And just look at all the people who are waiting right behind in line, right at those traffic lights with a red light so far.